Good morning and welcome back to the acres. Today we are going to be doing some work in the orchard. Um, behind me I have what's left of our orchard that we didn't get planted in the spring. So we're going to work on planting that today. The main thing I'm looking to plant are these raspberry bushes. So there's four big ones in these four big containers and then I have a few small ones in here and then I've got to get some of these nitrogen fixers out to the main orchard, the tree orchard. So that is what the plan is. I think I'm going to move them from here to over there. And then Jamie said he would come with the tractor and pick them up that way because they are heavy and it's a walk to get out there. So let's get busy getting these moved. I think I see a pear or a blueberry bush back there. Hmm, I'll have to check that out too. So yesterday after I moved all of the berry bushes from their like nursery area to the driveway, Jimmy brought them all back here for me. And then I ran to Lowe's because I saw that they had berry bushes at a pretty decent price. Um, and I picked up one blueberry bush and two blackberry bushes, which will finish the first, the one blueberry bush will finish the first blueberry row and the two blackberry bushes will finish the first blackberry row. So I'm gonna plant those first because I need Jamie's help for the raspberries. So I'm gonna do those first and then when he has a minute, he's gonna come and help me get the raspberries in. So I got, you can see behind me, got all those raspberries lined up. We got the T-post in that will hold them up. And Jamie decided that, see that row right there? I know it's kind of hard to see, but we have a row of blueberries where we have one on the one end and we have one on the other end and we don't have any in between. He decided he didn't like the look of that. So he's going to Lowe's. He's gonna buy the six more blueberry bushes that we need for that row. And then we're hopefully gonna get that done today get those planted. I'm gonna work on those raspberry bushes back there, get those planted. And then the next step for this will be mulch and trellising if we need to. So I'm gonna put you guys on a time-lapse and let's see how much I struggle with getting these raspberries in the ground, 
The ground is really, really hard. We haven't had rain in a while. Um, Jamie did spray it with a hose, which helped me earlier when I was doing the blackberries. Um, but we will see how much I struggle with this. These raspberry bushes are huge. We've had them for, I don't know, three or four years. So they're pretty decent size and gotta get them in the ground. now that I'm doing this and this is falling apart what like here's a whole raspberry bush on its own I could start that second row with some of these pieces that are coming off I think I have three of them and we're only doing three plants per or sorry we're doing six plants per row I bet I could probably get that whole second row dug. And then all we would need to finish is the blackberries. All right, that's much better. Step four, let's turn it that way. More in line. Get this back filled. I wonder what Jamie would think of that. All right, I'm gonna use some of this native stuff first. I did bring a ring. So here are the three 
raspberry plant set I divided off that one. I think I'm going to start a new row. I mean, I might as well, right? It should be easy digging because these are small too. And then maybe the other big ones will also give me some, some suckers and we'll have the second row of raspberries done. Okay, okay, I got the raspberries planted. I was able to divide enough that we have six raspberries in this row and six raspberries in the second row. So super excited about that. That means the raspberry rows are done and they just need to be trellised. I'm gonna research that this week, figure out what's gonna work best for us and we'll get all of those trellised. And just as I finished, all of this. Jamie came back with the blueberry bushes, so he is gonna work on putting those in. I have this sprinkler on the orchard and it's a couple days later from when I filmed this video but I want to show you guys what it looks like and I will probably end up with a wet child but so we got one row of blueberries here this is the new row of blueberries um so those are looking good I didn't water these this morning and it was like over a hundred today so they are a little struggling so we're going to give them a good drink of water and hopefully they'll perk back up tomorrow. And then come down a row. Uh, you come down a row. This is the blackberry row. And the plan is with these, we will trellis them on these T-posts. We'll film a video on how we're going to do that. Um, hopefully we'll be doing it soon because some of these really need it. But so a row of blackberries. Yeah. And then we need six more blackberries to go in this row here. And then you come down 
And this is our raspberries. These need trellising really, really bad. Um, so that's why I say we'll probably trellis the other stuff at the same time. But I was able to divide most of these raspberries and we were able to get the next row of raspberries all the way down. Now, some of these look great. Like this one looks good. It just needs to be trellised. Um, this one didn't do too well. You can see it's dead here with a little bit of growth there. Um, this one here, I think this one broke, but then this has growth on it, but it's also getting eaten by something. So hopefully that one lives. Maybe he eats like a This deer. one is looking good, but it needs to be trellised. Yeah. Um, this is actually Mama. two here. Mama. So, yep. Mama. Right. Yes, Marisol. Look. Okay. So this is one here, and then there's actually another one over here. But you can't, it looks like one big plant because it needs to be trellised. Um, for this last row, we're going to use the tree. Can I get a for this last row, we're going to use this tree as one post and then use this T post as the other one. We do know that eventually someday we'll probably have to take this out um, because it's going to be too much shade, but maybe we'll just top it and then we can still use it as a post. But very happy with the berry orchard. We were also. Super excited that we were able to get all of the raspberries off of what we had just by dividing and splitting. So we just need six more blackberries and then this orchard, this part of the orchard will be done. So, oh, before I forget, <laughs> we are also going to mulch all of these. So we're gonna mulch these in long lines. Um, we'll cardboard and mulch them. Hopefully we can get that done this weekend. We do have all of the mulch. We just have to get it done. So thanks for hanging out with us at the Acres and we will talk to you guys soon.